What's up everybody? So this video is going to be a request. In this video I'm going to make a guessing game and uh, the, the game needs to take a number called a secret number. It's going to store that number and then the user is going to guess what number it is. Now if the number is going to be, if the, the, the guess is lower than the actual number, the secret number, it's going to say that go higher, guess higher. And if the guess is higher, it's going to say lower. And then if they're correct, it's going to say you're right. All right, so let's get to it. So first off, I have the class guess game and our main method. And then we know we're going to get input. So we need to import our scanner. Okay, now we need our variables, and for this, we're going to need a couple integer variables and a boolean. So we need our variable that's going to be our secret number, and we're going to need whatever our guess is going to be for the user. And then for one, one more, we're going to want a boolean, and that's just, uh, it's going to be for our while loop that I'm going to use. So we'll set this to false, and then if they get it right, we'll set that to true later. Okay, now that we have our variables done, we're going to need to create our scanner object. Keyboard equals new scanner. And that's so we can get input from the user. All right. so. We have everything we need. Now we need a menu for the user to be able to read and know that they need to input a number. So we'll just use system.out. And I just want print, not print line, because I want their input to be on the same line. And in the example of what it needs to look like, like the, uh, the program needs to run, it's all caps. So I'm going to just do that. So give me a secret number. All right, so we have our display, give me secret number, and let's go ahead and get our input from the user. So this will set our secret num variable to whatever the user inputs, so our next integer. All right, here comes the while loop. This is what I'm going to use to make sure um, we're going to keep on asking for more numbers until they get it right. So we'll use while. And I'm going to use the correct Boolean up here. So initially, we set it to false. Since we're going to start with it not correct, the guess isn't correct. So I'm just going to use the exclamation mark and then correct. So what that's saying is, since this is set to false, this exclamation mark is saying, while wow, not false, which means true. And once I set this to true, because they guessed it right, it'll say, while wow, not true. So this will evaluate as false, and it'll exit the loop. All right, so let's get their guess. This is basically telling them to guess, and then we need to get that input. Same as before, keyboard next int. All right, so now we have their guess. We have the secret number, and then we have the guess. Okay, so within our while loop here, we need a couple if statements, and then that's about it. So if. We'll do the first one, say, if guess is equal to secret num. So that means they guessed it right. We're going to change our Boolean to true. So now we'll exit out this while loop. That way we don't get stuck in that. And then we can just display you are 
right. Looks like this one isn't full caps. So you are right. Nope. There we go. Now, we need some else if statements because that's not the only circumstance. Obviously, they may not guess it on the first try, so it could be lower or higher. Else if, okay, so if the guess is less than secret num, so they guessed low, we will display that higher. So this is saying if their guess is less than secret num, we'll display higher. And then basically, it just goes through the while loop again. And then one other circumstance. So we need one more else if. OK. If the guess is greater. So else if guess is greater than secret num, we want to display lower. Pretty simple here. And that is the whole program. Very simple once you break it down and just understand what you need to do on it. All right. I like to make sure it's all, it looks nice. OK, so let me go over it real quick. We have our integers here, secret num and guess. This is going to hold the number that uh, the user gives in the beginning. And then the guess is going to be what the user is guessing. And then we set our initial Boolean to false. We have our keyboard, which is imported right here. And that's to get uh, input from the user. Uh, before the while loop, we're going to have a display that says, give me secret number. And it's all caps, because um, in the example, it requests for it to look all caps. So you need to make sure to do that. And then we set the secret num variable to the next integer that is entered on the keyboard. OK, right here, we have the while loop, the start of the while loop. And remember, while loops, it's going to go and tell this right in, in here evaluates as false. So while this is true, whatever this evaluation is, everything in this while loop is just going to keep on repeating over and over and over. And since correct is set to false, this is going to evaluate as true because this is like an opposite. It's a not. So while not false, well, not false means true. So it's going to be true. We have our display here telling them to guess. And then right here is going to set the guess, whatever they decide to input. And then we have our test right here to see if they got it right or not. So if the guess is equal to secret num, then correct is going to be set to true. And we will display you are right. And you'll see right here. So if we set correct to true, and this is the opposite, that would make this whole thing false. So we want it to exit once that's false. All right, so the else ifs, the other circumstances that could happen, is they guess low. And this is telling them that they need to guess higher. And then this is if they guess high. And this is telling them that they need to guess lower. All right, so let's run it right here. All right, give me secret number. So in the examples, it gives. Looks like 30 is the initial number that it gives for a secret number. All right, so it's saying guess 10. Let me fix one thing here. It's just preference, but I want it all to be on the same line. So guess right here. All right. I want like what the I want it to say guess and then I want the number right after it, the input to be right after it, not on the next line. Okay. Secret number. All right, we'll go with 30. Guess is 10. It's going to say higher because 10 is lower than 30. All right, guess again. 
20, higher again, all right, 50, lower, it's going to say guess, um, 45, lower, since 45 is higher than 30, so we need to guess lower, and then finally, 30, you are right, and you can see the program ends, it exits the while loop, and the program stops, it terminates. All right, that's pretty much it for that program, and um, it's pretty simple. You just want to break down how you want to do it. You know you're going to need some variables. You're going to need uh, the keyboard, or you're going to need the scanner to get input, and then you're going to need the loop to check what the input is and then either ask again or exit. So I hope that helped you, and thanks for your questions. I welcome all questions, and I will help you with any programs that I can. You have a wonderful day, and goodbye.